Initially, I wasn't going to edit this part of the journey. I had already produced my Birdsville Experience 2010 video, which started at this very point. However, I realised two things. It had been heavily edited, and I hadn't watched most of the footage for near on 10 years. And so I thought, stuff it. Let's do it. Good morning, it's Tuesday the 24th of August. We're just leaving Roma. We've repacked the car, we've left the van at the caravan park. And we'll be away for three to four weeks. So it's going to be uh, interesting. We hope we've got everything we need. We've probably got a hell of a lot of stuff we don't need. but. We're on the road, we're heading towards Charleville. That's our first major destination. And uh, hopefully within two or three days we'll be birds. We're out that way anyway. Just have a look at the shape of that line down the left hand side of the road. It's, it's actually smoothed out a fair bit at this point in time, but wow. Bumpy, look at it. That's not crooked, that's up and down. Another little section just here. Macadilla. That's the wall on the left hand side. Silver Station, Hotel Motel. This is Ambi we're coming into now. there. That's some insulation there. I wonder if they got that from Kevin. Gee whizzes. The roads have been dodgy through here, isn't it? Obviously been torn up by floods or something. Look at the drain beside us and uh, it's very wet. Nice and sloppy in there, that's for sure. Is this the town that had the weir out the back? Where everyone was free camping? Uh, probably. Uh, We're back in Mitchell. Uh, it's, um, it's past the turn up from Mount Moffat. We're down back in the main street again.
Is that what you saw the at that way? They're real turps, but uh, weir is that, that way, so we Yeah, they are right, yeah. Draw out there. So time to move on, continue out the Warrigo Highway, Morven is our next major destination before we reach Charleville. Little locker, was to throw the main truck. Yeah, that was Mitchell. It's not as uh, prolific as some of the other towns around the place. Prolific, is that the word? Uh, anyhow, it's... Uh, Sad. Yes, it's a bit sad. It's dying. This is Mungawala. Little town, but it's got a divided road down the middle. That makes it pretty important. Roosters for that Calvary. It's called the R-O-O-S-T-A-S. Pub here, it's survived. It's a bit of all that survived there. Chooks on the side of the road. There's other main friends from the wall too, don't they? That was the town of the uh, Locality of Mangalala. What's it called? Mangalala. Right. We're approaching Morven, and something we haven't seen a lot of on the road um, has been dead animals. So every now and again, you might see a dead kangaroo or something like that. But uh, today, along the Warrigo Highway, it's sort of almost littered by comparison. Dead kangaroos and I think we've even seen a, a fox or something like that. There's only been a lot of military vehicles going the other way. There's been some sort of exercise happening out here. Morven again. Coming in from the opposite end this time. We have been through this bit before because we turned off and headed back north uh, when we came out from Charleville. A lot of water lying around down here as well. Yet another dead animal on the road. Almost in town. Put the water out into the right. We're about to break camp in there if we want to. Alright. Yeah, the historic society thing. You might drown them there, look at the amount of water that's in there. This is, where the, this is where those bike riders were. Yeah, coming through this other way, I don't recognise it. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're there or whatever, right? Yeah. The way these snakes come and take that from Exactly, them. yeah. They come Come through the town the other way, I'm thinking, I don't recognise this place, and suddenly it's all school for now, I don't know where I am, yeah. We come in from the left hand side, turn right to come into town, didn't we? They had to come back out here to go out of town, straight out, past them. Is that right? Yeah, there's a turn off somewhere. Yeah. Go to the fellow. Where is it? So here we turn left to go to Charlewell and we came here last time we actually went straight back past here up to Wagafella, Park Alden. This is our first camp on the new trip, the trip to Birdsville. And look at that, it hasn't fallen down yet. Doing all right. Took a lot longer to put the stretches up than did the tent. The park beside the road, there's a toilet here. What else do you need? There it is. She's a good thing almost. Well, it's morning, everything's still standing. Had some rain last night and uh, it's all still in one piece. Leslie talks about that palm tree as being uh, the day we're almost home when that comes on. Where did you see that palm Just down to Charleville. This is the gully running through the caravan park of Charleville. I remember it was dry when we came through. Been a bit of rain and that much water's coming through. That's the uh, water flowing down towards the caravan park now. If it really starts to flow, that's going to come up and flood the caravan park. And this is just with the mild rain that we've had, not with, with the uh, excessive rains that we've had by earlier on. Well, now turning on out of Charleville, heading towards Quilpy, and there's a lot of water lying around. Um, and according to one of the locals I asked about, uh, the fact they've had rain here, and she said, yes, yeah, it's a fair bit. So, you just to see what it's like as we get further over. 838 to Birdsville, 455 to Wintora. We've seen some uh, roadside memorials crosses and things but this is on the roadside leading out of Charleville and going towards Quilpie. When we were here last time we saw some people attending to it. Well somebody must love her very much, hey? Eh? This is a free camp area here and it's very sloppy at the moment, looking at those either side here. And looking at the river. Was it, how much water was over here last time? Because that bloke was parked down over there. Yeah. I can't remember how much water was here last time, but we will check the video. So we've got the road just up here, on the right hand side. Maybe there's ski daddled. Slowly wandering off to the side there, a couple of emus. So 
some box for it. Another one. Little baby goats. Yeah. Starting to find a few wildflowers along the road. Well be from the other side this time, and this will be uh, part of our last area, I think, we'll probably run out of uh, signal. Uh, two, maybe three. This has been running just enough spots to make it annoying on the windscreen. Thursday morning, 26th, um, sun shining, hopefully it will be tomorrow as well, and then beyond that as well, but um, we're going to wander out towards Windora, just take our time, there's no hurry, uh, we need a few days of this sort of sunshine to dry everything out, and uh, most of the traffic's going up to Maduri for the races uh, this weekend, so uh, we're heading the other way which means that the road shouldn't be too cut up um, because the people down at Maduri then are wanting to get down to Birdsville from there and that road's closed at the moment and certainly south from Birdsville supposedly there's been something like 40 or 50 millimetres of rain down there and to that end uh, South Australia closed part of the Birdsville track See, it's been a bit damp along here. See how the day goes on. The sign said the road is open, so let's see what happens. Rains and the countryside turns green. Look at that out there. It normally never like that. This is a gravel pit full of water and you just see the difference in the colours here and beautiful sunny day today really bringing the best out and on the other side of the road again everything's really nice and green so your standard countryside and then something like that just pops out We're going through a lot of uh, floodplain type country. This is telling us that we're now entering the Cooper Creek Lake Air Catchment Basin. That's the Grey Range. Uh, we got ourselves a bit of traffic out here. Paramanga, I'm the sort of country. Windora 209. All of a sudden, it's not green. Well, it's all over the green on the side of the road. Plenty of mud there still, but Paddocks are uh, yellow. Interesting. 
I only just thought they'd get quite the amount of rain that everyone else did, but it's almost as though we came through a, a gateway and the, the paddocks changed colour. We're 140 kilometres from Windora. Land is as flat as flat as flat. And then the sand ridge. It's running along like this and winding up with a sand hill, which is just by the road. And then beyond that, nothing. Old story, millions of acres to feed in and they'll feed on the road. Spotted the spike from back down the road a bit. So we'll slide right down and we're just sneaking up on him. So we can't get a photo or two. This is station country. Someone has dammed up the river and created the Gamomo waterhole. Now there is a station just up the road here. And right next to the waterhole is this little rest area. And it's a fifth wheeler and they're taking advantage of the uh, parking space as well. Well this particular station it appears as though uh, the paddocks are too wet or something for these uh, for the inhabitants because they all seem to want to stand in the middle of the road, doesn't matter where we are, that's what's been happening. guarantee that one of these is going to walk across in front of us as well. Oh, my CF card is full. Hey? How about that? My CF card's full. No, never felt so. Got your other one? Um, here it's in the back. Got the swags on the back. The weather water hole is actually the uh, Chubatna Creek. Yeah, that station on the corner would have been Syangra. Yep. And the, the creek that goes up there is Kapat... Kuabra? Kuabra. Kuabra. Creek. Should be turned up up here to Linwood. Must have lived here in Linwood. <laughs> Where are they going? No. <laughs> We're on the Quilpy Windori Road and we found a spot about two 200 metres in off the main road, I suppose. Out in the middle of the paddock, but we decided to do that to set the tent up to let it dry out after getting drenched yesterday. Well, it's night time, sun's down, and we're having really our first fine night out. There's the sky. This is the uh, moon rising out here on the uh, the road to Windora. If you enjoyed this video, there are over 500 more just like it on this channel. 
subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when the next video is available. If you liked this video, hit the like button and feel free to share with your friends. Thanks for watching.